So welcome back to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, it's going to be part two of my Tick Tick system. And it's all coming up next. So here we are in part two of my Tick Tick system. And you see here I have Tick Tick opened up. And I kind of want to, in this video, kind of hone in, I guess you could say, on my system. But not only that, but show you some areas that kind of might mess you up when you implement a system like this. Okay? So inside of Tick Tick, you, you know, I usually stay on my calendar view. But if you go over here to the tasks view, and let's say you say, well, you know what? I wonder what do I have in my daily routines or weekly routines or single action routines, right? And if you look at uh, the other video I did, you'll know what I typically put in there. And you remember I said, I just have that as a holding area. I do not typically go into those areas at all. Why? Because it can be a little confusing. And let me explain. If you had a reoccurring tasks and let me go show you what i'm talking about here in the calendar view let's say for instance let's go to another day let's go to yeah you know, let's try another week because i've already done my review and already got everything in there that i want all right, so let's say, for instance, I'm on the 20, well, let's see, the 22nd, okay? And I have this item here. Well, typically what I would do is I would take this item and I'd move it down to the spot that I want to do it um, whenever I have uh, my weekly review, which is usually a few days before that next week's start. And I would move it down here. Uh, to the time blocks that I want to accomplish it in. And when I let it go, it's going to tell me this. You're changing the time of a reoccurring task. Please confirm the changes, okay? You want to do this for all reoccurring tasks? Well, no, typically I only do it for that one because I want to keep everything in its normal way. And I don't want to, if, see, if I said all the reoccurrences, then that would move that item down there at the nine o'clock time frame all the time and that's not what I want. I want to be able to move that whenever I want to on a reoccurring task and only this reoccurrence just one time. I just want to do it that one time uh, whenever I do my weekly review, right? Because who knows, I might have had to schedule a appointment or whatever and if I always put it down at nine o'clock every time then all this, I you know, it gets kind of messed up and I don't know when I could schedule stuff because I got stuff all over the place. So that's why a lot of these reoccurring tasks are up here in the all day event area up here, but they're not really all day events. They're just tasks that I haven't really assigned that day to a time. Okay. But the problem is, is when you go ahead and hit okay there and you select that, right? It breaks it up inside of the container folder that I was just talking about, right? Over here in the daily routines or weekly routines or what have you it's going to break it down so if you ever go over here to your weekly routines and you're just looking at stuff you're like well some of these are routines and some of these look like they're single action tasks why are they over here like for instance this one right here it's like it's not reoccurring because see there's the little circle there showing that it's reoccurring but it's not reoccurring it's just a single task because when you break it apart it breaks it apart inside the container folder. So don't go into the container folder once you get it all set up and you're dropping stuff off there. There really is no reason to go in there. You'll just get confused. All right. Um, and that goes for a lot of this stuff. It just It's just extremely confusing when um, you're like, well, I thought this was all supposed to be in a single action for these items that are not reoccurring. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, if not, uh, please uh, let me know uh, in the comments down below and I'll try to explain it better in a in another video. But I just kind of want to give you all a kind of a tidbit on that uh, situation, okay? 
So now let's go on to the next section. So hopefully that wasn't very confusing what I just was talking about, but uh, I do want to kind of go into another section of the program that I typically do not use, although I sometimes I might take a glance at it, but I don't really need to. But I will take a glance at the next seven days sometimes. Um, you know, this is a kind of a useful area. Maybe it's useful for you. Uh, you can try it out and see. But I usually don't stay here because I'm always on where? The calendar view, right? And so usually I'm on the day view. And then if I ever need to um, switch some stuff around or what have you, I might go to the week view, right? And you can kind of skip around the seven day blocks like that or or maybe even the month view, but really I don't go to the month view. I usually stay on the day view. So there's really no reason for me to pretty much be anywhere else, right? And so when I do my weekly review, I usually will be on one day, I'll fix that day, then I'll go to the next day, fix that day the way I like it, go over to the next day, fix that day the way I want it, whenever I do my weekly review, which by the way, we'll go over that later on in this um, video on how I uh, usually typically accomplish uh, such things. But uh, do I use the seven day or next seven days? Nah, not really. But you can, you know, it would be possibly useful to you. Uh, so let's go on to the next section. Now, like I say, I typically do not use the week view or the month view. I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. I just have so much stuff in there, it can kind of get overwhelming, especially the month view. Um, but, you know, the weekly review, I mean, I guess it could be somewhat useful. You could kind of see where to move blocks to and this and that. Just for me personally, I have no reason to because when I do my weekly review, um, I do it kind of different, okay? Now, talking about the weekly review, what I typically do is... Um, usually a couple days before the week begins. And so the week begins on my system here on a Monday. Okay. And the end of the day is a Sunday. So usually either, um, whenever I have time, I'll have it usually a day before, um, the time, or if I got a free moment and I just want to go ahead and do it, I might do it a couple of days ahead of time. But usually I do that week, a, a day or two ahead of time so I can go ahead and organize any of my reoccurring tasks that happen to be up here in the top and I can put them down into s slots, right? And that's really all I do for my weekly review is I just plug everything down, bring it all down and plug it in different spots and uh, rearrange it into some sort of logical uh, sequence uh, based on where I'm at, if I'm at my computer or if I'm somewhere else. Um, it's just, you know, basically where I think I can accomplish most of those tasks. So uh, hopefully that wasn't confusing. I am being confusing today, but uh, you know, hopefully you're Catching on to what I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to organize my day where I can just look at everything in one localized area and not have two or three different programs to try to figure out how to put my day together. Um, so hopefully that was informative and uh, let's go on and move to the next section. So hopefully you all are getting value out of this video and if you are, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. It does help our channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, uh, we'd really appreciate it. Also, if you would like to see more of these videos in the future, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And right on to the next section. So, like I said, typically I stay in the day area, right? For whatever day I'm on. But there's also another area that I like to always have populated so to speak on the screen is my arranged task. Now you can have that minimized if you want a bigger view, but I usually typically like to have it up. So it kind of reminds me that, yeah, I do have some items over here that do not have a date or time on them. Okay. Now 
I might not have any idea when I'll be able to fit these in because sometimes some bigger projects might take an hour or two and you, and you kind of wrote them down, but you're just not really ready to do them yet. And you're just, but you want to kind of a holding area. So when you do, you can kind of just drag it on over and put it in its time slot and go ahead and expand it to however long you think it's going to be, right? That's the cool thing about having this arranged task thing here. It's just for any items that you, you know, don't have time for right now, but you probably will at some point. And when you have a free block of time or you feel uh, energetic and you want to go ahead and get it done, you can just go ahead and slide it on over to the area. But let's say you get to that point and you're like, oh my goodness. I just, uh, I really don't have time for it. Well, you can always go ahead and click on the date and clear it back out and it puts it right back over here in your area. And if you notice, it also puts what area holding block it is that's over here. It also puts that, uh, it kind of organizes it for you so you know what section you're on. Like I know that these items here are in my home section, right? This section here is my Etsy selling section. And then this here is the YouTube section, right? Also, sometimes you might realize like I did now that I don't have this in the right section. So I might need to move that. I probably want to put that in the photography section. So now I got a new section. See how easy that is? Now you also have it on, I have it on list, but you also have tags you can, uh, keep it organized under or you can also do it on a priority I typically just keep it under lists I don't really mess with any of those and I don't ever mess with overdue or anything I just leave it on undated okay so that's how I have the arranged task area set up okay so I did want to go over one last thing um somebody the other day asked me a question about what do I do with events so I thought I'd go ahead and add this onto this video um, and just kind of talk about events. Um, so what do I do with events? Well, I do the same thing with events as I do with my tasks. I just schedule them on the block. Now, with that being said, unlike if you were to use Google and stuff like that, where you can, you know, click on a link and it'll automatically put your your events um, time on there. So let's say somebody sends you a calendar invite and you click on that and you can go to Google Calendar or whatever calendar app you're working on. It's not gonna do the same thing, uh, so to speak, with Tick Tick. But in my world, I don't really need to worry about any of that. So whenever I have events, like say for instance the other day, I had a uh, appointment to take my car into the shop. Um, I had that on my calendar and all I did was I just clicked on the day and I just put in, you know, car appointment or whatever it was, or maybe a doctor's appointment, right? And that's all I do and I just schedule it and I just put it as a single actual item or whatever and I just stick it in there. And voila, it's just that simple. So now it's on my calendar for however long I think it's going to be. Maybe I think it's going to be an hour or two hours or 30 minutes. And that's really all I do uh, when it comes to events. Um, I know that, you know, some people are like, well, yeah, but I like how, you know, Google's integration with, you know, clicking on the links and stuff like that and uh, how the events go in there. But for me, in my world, it just makes sense for me to just schedule it like that. It doesn't take me long to just put car appointment or whatever. Now, let's say, for instance, maybe it's a webinar meeting, right? Well, I could always take that email, copy all of the link stuff there, right? And just put it into the description. And I've done that a few times and uh, put it into the description of my uh, task. And yeah, that's one extra step, but as many webinars that I go through and stuff like that I go through um, it doesn't really matter to me because I don't get that many of them now if you have a whole buku load of you know webinars and other stuff like that events that come in like that um, 
maybe that's, you know, this ain't the right system for you. Um, but for me, this works, you know, perfectly. Is it completely perfect? No, there's some things uh, with Tick Tick that are, you know, slightly annoying, but uh, it's not really that big of a deal um, where it would be a deal breaker for me to, you know, give it up. So anyways, I hope that answers that question. So this video is not going to be a very long video, but I do want to kind of give you all an idea of what I am doing with my system, okay? Um, now, undoubtedly, I probably have left something out. If so, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and ask me any questions you have, okay? But let's go ahead and recap what I typically do, okay? Typically, I enter in my items in my inbox, right whatever they are and then i organize them at the end of the day and i move them to whatever area that that they are in but i stay on the calendar view right stay on the calendar view and i i typically also another thing is by the way is i usually do a daily review as well usually i guess you could say i was doing it at night but i found that um it just worked better for me time wise um with my schedule to do it in the morning time uh, the day of the item so typically when i wake up in the morning i'll go through my day and say is there anything in here that i'm just not going to be able to do or did something else come up that i think uh, might need to get done in more priority than others so i also kind of you know I might reorganize it that day, but typically, uh, once I do my weekly review, it's pretty much set in stone, but occasionally I do move things around if I think uh, something else has come up at the last moment that I need to get done. I might move it around, or maybe I didn't get something done the previous day that's more important than the task I have for today, and I've moved it over, right? So, I'll also do a daily review. But like I say, typically I am blocking off time in my day to get things done. And I really, 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 really like the checklist function. It really helps. And the reason why I like the checklist function is that when I check off these items in this thing, it takes away the main thing. So I don't have to come back out of it and click on this thing again and hit that or boom, 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 they're all gone, then I gotta hit that. It just all disappears. Not like other task managers. Other task managers, such as Todoist or whatever, you click these off and the main thing's there. Then you gotta go and click that. Why? If I've done all of the subtasks or the checklist, uh, that should go away too, if that's what you want. And that's what I want. But anyways, that's mainly the reason why I like this checklist function here, okay? flags don't hardly ever use uh you can if you want i just don't see any need because like i say i don't need to know that this is priority one because i have it in the time block so i'm doing that so nothing else is going to be done during that time anyways because i'm doing that so i don't need to know that it's priority number one because there ain't nothing else here during that time that's taking up that time so um another thing is by the way is if you hover over these uh, checklist items here, you'll see a little timer here. Uh, it's a reminder, and then you got a little trash can, right? Uh, I found the reminder thing here on each one of these it does absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. At least it hasn't for me. Don't forget, you also have a comment section here. So if you ever need to write a comment on your uh, item or maybe somebody else, maybe you're sharing this to somebody else and they need to write a comment to you. Okay. But anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, like I say, I probably left something out. But I just kind of want to go over in this video just the things that I wasn't able to put into the last video. Um, hopefully, I didn't leave something out. If I did and you have some questions, please feel free to ask down there in the comment section. And I'll go ahead and uh, answer that. And I might even do another video on it. Uh, but with that being said... I want to wish y'all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.